Hello, I'm Matthew Smith. I'm the Assistant Director of Undergraduate Admission here at MICA, Maryland Institute College of Art. And I'm also an admissions counselor. I work with students from the beautiful state of Texas, and I really look forward to the opportunity to uh, explain a little bit about what's going on here at MICA, and also get to know more about you, your artistic journey, and really help you along this wonderful path of going into higher education. So at MICA, we really wanna talk about aspects of the idea that creatives power the world, and MICA is a school that really empowers the creative. So we're really empowering that next generation of artists and designers. So MICA students uh, really embody the spirit of innovation, of collaboration, and really exploring all different bounds of ways to really express themselves creatively. And MICA's campus is over a million square feet of space. It's a creative ecosystem designed to encourage cross-curricular collaboration and artistic exploration both in and out of class. Speaking of out of class, MICA offers dozens and dozens of wonderful student organizations. This is a great way for you to meet new people and make friends. But we offer clubs in areas that are really academic and major related. We also have clubs that are focused within more things that can be uh, a look at public service, community service and social action, but also things that can be really recreational focused within sports or in any other idea that you can really find ways to meet together in clubs. These opportunities are available to you here at MICA. Now, MICA is really at the forefront of creating residential live learning communities with artists and designers in mind. This is the entryway to Founders Green, which is one of our three residence facilities. And this is where you live during your freshman year. It's really about establishing an amazing community space and really help you sort of see what it's like to be surrounded with some other amazing student artists. Let's take a look at this wonderful Founders Green space. When I first got here, I was a bit nervous. Within the first month or two, I felt like perfectly comfortable being here. It really felt like my home away from home. I feel like I belong here. Being a founder of Green and being surrounded by all the people, it was definitely a refreshing feeling coming from where I came from. Expect a lot of dyed hair. I did dye my hair. Uh, Micah, you really are surrounded by all these people who are so talented. I made it through all my classes and I met some awesome people. Hi, my name is Kara Martinez Deli, and I'm the Director of Student Activities here at MICA, and I use she, her, hers pronouns. So when you move in at MICA, you'll be living in Founders Green, which is a complex of four buildings. You'll be living in an apartment, so a single or a double. The apartments will share a common living area, a kitchen, and a bathroom. And we found that every student is different, so if you find yourself needing a desk, we'll go ahead and bring one that works for you. We'll give you a time slot on move-in day, and that should give you plenty of time to unpack get settled, do groceries, and even explore the city a little bit before orientation officially begins. So your first year at MICA, you'll have a lot of new experiences, both as an artist and as a person. But ultimately, we just want you to feel a part of the MICA community. We're glad you're here. So in addition to being the oldest continuously degree granting art school in the United States, we at MICA are also continuously recognized as a top art and design school, both in the US and around the world. But I really want to talk about the benefits of studying at MICA. There are dozens and dozens, if not thousands, of amazing, unique benefits. But there are four key factors I want to talk about briefly today. A MICA education is integrative, it's customizable, it's entrepreneurial, and it's purpose-driven. So first off, what is an integrative education? Well, essentially, it's about combining art plus different industries that really allows for an open dialogue about problems that need innovative, creative solutions. So the benefit is that these intersections will really prepare you for new opportunities in areas of business, entrepreneurship, uh, social justice, education, science, technology, and really any other combination that you can think about art plus something. Now, this might be a little bit difficult to grasp at first. So to start you off, we really want you to get comfortable with combining art and design in innovative ways. So your freshman year is called the first year experience. And here you're going to explore a huge range of media and processes both in and outside of your comfort zones. So you're gonna explore work in 2D, 3D, and 4D media, and then collaborate across these disciplines. And these classes will help you to prepare to officially declare your major in the spring semester of freshman year. But it's all about our amazing faculty in the first year experience and how they open up your eyes to new ways of thinking and working. Jenna Fry does many amazing integrative approaches, one being uh, an approach towards art plus animal behavior. So in one integrative class project, see it, she and her students worked with the Smithsonian National Zoo, where students created a new enrichment toy to simulate elephants pushing trees in the wild. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
What I really love about this assignment is the seeing, you know, three students from all different backgrounds and all different creative strong suits here on the left working together to really find this innovative creative solution. And you know, again, finding these intersections is really an important factor in the first year. But this goes beyond your first year. Brian Hoover teaches in our interdisciplinary sculpture department, and he runs MICA's digital fabrication and bio labs. So he focuses on art plus biology. So he helps students from all different majors really develop sustainable projects, such as uh, growing vegan fur, like you can see here on the right, or learning how to draw with actual cells, like we can see an example here on the left. Now next is thinking about that your education at MICA is customizable. So we offer a very flexible curriculum. So this allows you to customize your own pathway that's really geared to your personal interests, and even more importantly, towards your long-term career goals. So in addition to your major, you can add any one of our 21 studio minors, as well as a liberal arts minor, along with other related study. And students take advantage of this from all different majors. And this is Miri. During her senior year, she customized her graphic design major with a studio minor in interactive art. By combining these, she was given the opportunity to create what was called the Mica Vibe Project. So this project recorded the pulse of Mica through sensors that were placed all over campus, really capturing sound and motion of student activity. Then all that activity created this code that we see here on the right. And then that code generated design elements that we can see in these really colorful and wonderful graphic elements. So it's about finding ways to really make yourself uh, approachable, diverse within different mediums, to really make uh, the opportunities for your career even that much more vast. And uh, Miri is a really great example of that. But Mica has always been customizable, and I want to show you know one alumni example, sort of how they got to where they are. Abby Jacobson customized her general fine arts major by adding a film and video minor, and then she also took classes in illustration, graphic design, and performance, and she studied stand-up comedy in various creative writing classes. So this diversity really led to an amazing career in comedy as an illustrator, author, and actress. She's most known for being the co-creator, writer, and star of the hit comedy central show Broad City. But she also is a published illustrator and author with her most recent picture book seen here on the left. But as this, um, these student and alumni examples really illustrate, MICA's program of study give you that very important structure of a major, but also that flexibility to customize and explore beyond your main course of study. So if we look at our majors in fine arts. These are majors in ceramics, drawing, fiber, general fine arts, interdisciplinary sculpture, painting, and printmaking. So all of our majors really provide comprehensive training in traditional skills, methods, processes, and techniques, not to just make the work that you want, but to make it really, really well. Our students are working in a modern contemporary context that ranges from narrative painting to multimedia to thinking about three-dimensional installation and really any other form of experimentation that is out there. We provide our students with the ability to synthesize between programs. So we've seen drawing and painting or sculpture and performance or really any other combination that you can imagine. But by doing this, you're gonna discover your own unique voice as an artist by combining concepts, by learning how to research in different ways and really mastering technical skills derived from a very wide variety of coursework. And the same approach goes to our majors in design and media arts. These are majors in animation, architectural design, film and video, game design, graphic design, illustration, interactive arts, photography, product design, and an in-development new major coming this fall ecosystem sustainability and justice. So these majors give students the creative, the technological, and the intellectual skills to become design and media visionaries. So as a media artist, you're going to learn how to communicate narratives, how to communicate information, how to work with professional clients on real projects with real timelines and real budgets. So while developing your own personal voice as an artist and designer, and really learning how to visually interpret ideas. All of our faculty, whether in the media or fine arts, are active working professional artists with very active practices. This is really important because all that amazing experience really informs their teaching. They're really up to date with what's happening here in 2021, and you're making industry connections just by being in class. This is an opportunity for you to really build upon your resume, expand your professional networks, all again while learning from your teacher's firsthand practice. Now, MICA, we're also one of the most academically rigorous art colleges out there. So at minimum, a third of your coursework is based in academic study, but we do offer two distinct liberal arts majors. Art history, theory, and criticism are, it gives students a unique perspective, both as an art historian and a maker of art. And students in the studio and humanistic studies major will achieve a more intense and rigorous academic focus 
as they pursue that studio major. And our liberal arts faculty are really leaders and scholars in their field as well. So a distinguishing mica factor is that our full-time faculty hold advanced degrees from some of the top academic institutions from around the world, such as Harvard, uh, Princeton, Cambridge, the University of Chicago, amongst many, many, many others. But our liberal arts classes really appeal to creative minds and they complement and pair with your studio work. You know, for the academic approach, we don't want you to just take general education classes. We really want you to take classes that are interesting you within your research, within your studio practice, and again, for that long-term career goal. And along with this academically rigorous path, we offer various master's capstone programs separate from our two-year graduate program. This gives students the opportunity to achieve a BFA in any one of our studio majors and a master's capstone program within five various programs. The most popular one being the BFA and the Master's of Arts in Teaching. So as a BFA MAT student, you go through undergraduate study in any one of our studio majors, and then you stay at MICA for one additional year as a graduate student, going into the classroom and learning how to lead students from all backgrounds, skill sets, and ages. MICA has a 100% placement rate for those MAT graduates who sought teaching positions after graduation. But to help you customize your major, you have the option of choosing a studio minor or a liberal arts minor. You can achieve a studio minor in almost all of the majors that I listed previously, in addition to the ones that we see here on the left. And then we do have these more specific liberal arts minors for, again, those artists who have a, a, a more you know, focused trajectory within their academic pursuits. But you can even take academic studies beyond the MICA campus. So through the Baltimore Student Exchange Program, you can take classes at any one of the 11 neighboring colleges and universities for no additional charge and tuition. You simply work with your academic advisor and then he, she, or they will uh, register you for a class at those neighboring institutions. You uh, simply go to that campus, enroll and take that class and then apply that to your degree plan here at MICA. And again, towards that overall goal of research that you're really trying to achieve in the studio. Back to the benefit list, MICA is entrepreneurial. So now more than ever, creatives are extremely entrepreneurial and really doing the work that you wanna do and you really being your own boss. So to prepare you to become a business owner and your own independent artist, MICA really provides opportunities for you to gain a lot of experiences and these skills. Recently, MICA announced the launch of the Ratcliffe Center for Entrepreneurship as a national model for the best practices in the delivery of creative entrepreneurship education. And as part of this, we're adding a new studio minor in creative entrepreneurship. So students could add this minor to any major to learn more in-depth business practices. But we've been pushing creative entrepreneurship for many years now at MICA, and it's really through this demand and success that we have decided to open it up into this new minor. Now, the really big focus way to learn about entrepreneurship is really through the opportunities that are available in MICA's Career Development Center. Our center is really one of the most comprehensive of its kind of any college of art and design. So in addition to housing the Center for Creative Entrepreneurship, the professional staff really offer an array of career services specifically designed for artists, designers, and educators. They can help you with so many different resources, such as resume building or really developing personalized interview techniques. They can help you determine that career direction and really provide amazing one-on-one -on -one career counseling. But they're also one of the best resources for internships. So our students will intern nationally and internationally. And here's a small list of places that they have interned recently. This is also a really big benefit for your entrepreneurial pathway to really learn what it's like to be working in these industries. And again, apply that to your future focus. But uh, not only is MICA an amazing support for your business ideas, but Baltimore is too. As you see, our city is a top ranked city nationally for creative entrepreneurs, the second hottest startup city in the US, the second uh, best city in the US for tech jobs and so on and so forth. But in Baltimore, we're also a central hub for amazing creative East Coast cities. So the proximity of Baltimore to these other major urban hubs offers not only cultural enrichment, but also close by job opportunities and internships not found in other parts of the United States. But starting off your journey in college here in Baltimore in the center of the East Coast Arts Corridor is really beneficial to you because we're a smaller, much more affordable focused city here where um, a lot of the art focus is really around what's going on here in MICA and in our Station North Arts District. So there's a lot more professional opportunities and a lot more opportunities for your work to be seen and still, again, anchoring off these really wonderful neighbors that we have here in the East Coast. And finally, at MICA, we are purpose-driven. So we believe the creativity is really a transformative force that can really advance the well-being of others, as well as positively impact the world through art and design thinking. And this thinking is actually embedded in our mission and vision statements. So our mission at MICA is really to empower students to forge creative, purposeful lives and careers 
in a diverse and changing world. And our vision is creating a just, sustainable, and joyful world really activated and enriched by artists and designers and educators who are valued for their important leadership and their imagination. And the core concept of diversity, equity, inclusion, and globalization are also really built into our DNA. Our Center for Identity and Inclusion is an active gathering space on campus where our students from all backgrounds can share common issues, receive support, and draw from resources, including various diversity grants and a really large mentoring network. And our students take full advantage of this. Monica recently took first place and $10,000 in the recent Catlin Art Prize, which is a juried contest and traveling art exhibition. She won first place for her beautiful large-scale oil paintings, which she was one of almost 700 submissions from 140 schools. And her portraits really confront and engage with a focus on the issues and subtleties that Monica observes being a member of the Black community. El Perez absolutely uses their art to give their voice to important LGBTQ issues. So they graduated from our photo department and went on to get their MFA at Yale. They were in the 2019 Whitney Biennial, also had a solo exhibition at MoMA PS1. So Elle is only 30 and they're an assistant professor of visual and environmental studies at Harvard University, as well as a critic at the Yale School of Art. And their photographic work is a beautiful study of the human process of creating a new reality for oneself. And w Magazine just named Elle recently one of the six rising artists to watch. So if this is exciting for you and you're interested in combining your creativity with social justice, our Center for Creative Citizenship really offers support to develop partnerships, programs, and initiatives for the purpose of creating a positive change within your community. And speaking of community, our mission and vision is really about welcoming students from all around the globe. Students at MICA currently hail from 51 foreign countries and 47 states. This is really important because you really want to learn from their backgrounds, from their walk of life and where they come from, because that really opens your eyes and informs you as well. And it's really about being in a really diverse community that helps you grow within yourself as a person and as an artist. And at MICA, we have the broadest range of study abroad and exchange opportunities of any art college in the United States. So we offer semester long programs and summer travel intensives in over 30 countries really reflecting on our deep commitment to educating artists and designers with a global perspective. So this is all great, but what's it really like to be at MICA? You know, being an art student is hard work. Your classes are long, your projects are intense. It will definitely be one of the most challenging and rewarding experiences of your life. And though we work hard, we have a lot of fun. And I really hope you get the opportunity to learn more about what it's like to be in our community here at MICA. Lakers community is always notorious for having that nurtured competitive spirit, but also a place where you're going to learn not only who you are as an, uh, as an artist, but as an adult and a person. And really being surrounded with such a wonderful, nurtured, caring community will really benefit you within your growth. And I hope Micah can really be that future place for you. So to sum it up, a MICA education is so many things. There's so, so, so much more that I could really go into, but in this short time, I really wanted to focus on these four things. A MICA education is integrative and it really allows you to integrate art and design with other fields, but it allows you to customize your education and help you really realize that you can grow your own business and be your own entrepreneurial boss. But it also really sees that you are purpose-driven and that your art and your voice can really have a huge impact on the world. And I really hope this is appealing to you and that you can see that MICA is really that place to be that dream school for you. I'm gonna continuously be here to help you guys along and help you learn so much more about our amazing artistic community, the success of our students and alumni, and really how you can see yourself in the position that they also were once in. So if you're interested in applying, please reach out. I'm always here to help. We're on the Common application. So you go to commonapp.org. It's a really great one-stop shop where I think you'll be applying to a lot of your schools. For a portfolio of artwork, we're looking for 12 to 20 pieces, um, 12 to 20 pieces that just best represent you and your overall skill. I look forward to in February getting to look at some of your guys' work. And um, if you also want to reach out to me at any time before that, I'm always open to doing a portfolio review online or through email. Your essay is just a personal essay from Common App, so have fun with that. And list all your extracurricular activities that you do in school, at home, in your community, at your place of worship or anything in between, because this is a really great way to see you being active and mature and just giving me a good glimpse into all the other wonderful things that you do. Your letters of recommendation, we're gonna want at least two and definitely one from a visual arts teacher. Your high school transcript with the most up-to-date GPA, we have a lot of merit-based academic scholarships, so keep those grades up. Because of the current uh, coronavirus pandemic, this year we are going test optional. So we're not requiring the SAT or the ACT 
for your application to be complete. For any non-native English speakers, we will still um, require that ESL exam. So you can see here the TOEFL, the IELTS, the PTE, and Duolingo. We accept any one of these and you see the minimum required scores there. Uh, first year deadlines are coming up quite quickly. We have the regular decision deadline of February 1st. So if you're really interested in applying soon, I'm really here to help you along with that, but also um, sort of keep a lookout um, if we may be extending this a little bit based off of, to again, the current coronavirus pandemic. But uh, as of now, our regular decision deadline is fast approaching at February 1st. And then follow us on social media. This is such a great way for you to see, well, what's happening at MICA day in and day out? Look through the archives on our Instagram at Maryland Institute College of Art. And then also click the following section because there you can see all of the wonderful Instagram um, uh, handles for all of our amazing majors and programs here at MICA. So I hope you follow us to learn a lot more about what's happening here at Maryland Institute College of Art. And again, stay in touch. I'm um, an open book. I'm always here to help you guys out in any sense of the word. So email me at any time at msmith at mica.edu. And I really look forward to the opportunity to get to um, see who you are and see your work and really just get to know one another. So at this time, I really want to thank you guys so much for the opportunity to really present with you. Um, I look forward to the opportunity to coming back to El Paso uh, sometime soon and really um, just getting to uh, explore more of what makes Texas so amazing. So I thank you guys again, and please uh, don't hesitate to be in touch anytime. And I hope you really enjoyed your opportunity of learning more about what makes Mega so special. Have a great day.